Ngayong araw sa Sports Chat, kilalali natin ang dalawang batang mandalaro na sina Rocco Melicor at Daryl Velia Diva mula sa University of the Philippines Integrated School Boys Basketball Team. Alamin natin sa dalawang batang mandalaro ang mga natutunan nila sa rookie year nila sa UAAP at kung paano nila gagamitin ito para mas lalo silang gumaling sa larangan ng basketball. Panoorin po natin ito. Hello and welcome to PD Sports Chat. For today, we have guests from the UPIS basketball team. Please welcome Mr. Rocco Medicor and Mr. Daryl Valde Avila. Hey guys, it's been a while. Ang laki nyo na, ako na liliit. And well, it's so good to see you again. So, kumusta? Rocco, kumusta? Um, okay naman po. Kakatapos lang po ng season. So, um, relaxing a bit and focusing sa academics. How about you? Right. Okay naman din po. Just relaxing and uh, focusing din po sa akads ko din po. Okay, so this I have to ask you. you, you I understand it's your rookie year yes, with uh, UPIS. Uh, ano, how, how, how did it go for you guys? What can you say about the season? Rock. For me, it was an awesome and great experience. I've learned a lot during the season and it was a blessing also because um, I got to play in a high level of basketball. How would you do that? It was very fun, a great experience. And uh, I'm very thankful that I got to play at that level of basketball at a very young age. Okay, so looking ahead, I mean, from what you've experienced already, did you discover anything, areas that need to be addressed to be improved heading into the next season of the year? Um, I think we're, now we're more experienced. As a, this last year we were rookies, so we didn't have any experience. But now I think our team is more confident na in coming into the next season. Uh, I think that, uh, uh, that we're pretty confident in the next season. And uh, hopefully our mistakes from this season will be fixed next season from our lessons, from what we learned from this season. Daryl, I understand you're the Rookie of the Year. Thank okay, you. mukhang ibang kakaiba yung pinakita mo. Ha? Can you explain to us, ano ba ang ginawa mo? At biglang, I mean, to get that award, what do you think you did to get that uh, this thing? Mm, I think I just tried to help my team win because I've been trying to contribute a lot to the team to help our team win. So that, that's what all I'm thinking about throughout the whole season. Rocco, I've seen you play before. Now you've been exposed to more season and, well, mga, what you, how do you call that? Experienced na guards. How was the experience going up against them, guarding them and playing, well, trying to score against them? Um, it was really tough and challenging, but my coach prepared me very well, becoming more matured and just having a good mindset coming into the season. So. The coaches really prepared me before the season. Okay. How about you, Daryl? How was it going up against these more seasoned veterans players na naglalaro sa high school? I enjoyed a lot po kasi I learned a lot of new things about my playing style and uh, how the game is played in that level. Okay. Guys, in your assessment, heading into ano, anong tingin yung kailangan yung work on? Now that it's off-season, right? I mean, aside from the study, said, I'm sure you're going to work on some parts of your game. What do you have to work on to do, to have a better showing next season? Okay. This off season, I'll work on my body. I'll try to get bigger and stronger, um, jump higher, get more athletic to be to be to get better in the next season. I think that's what I'm. Um, in po yung kulang po sa akin last season. How about you, Daryl? Uh, same with Rocco. I need to take care of my body and uh, magpalaki ko ng muscles. And uh, I also think I need to uh, at least step up my communication and my leadership with the team so that I, we, me and Rocco could lead the team next season. Okay, among the teams that you faced, which was the, which was the toughest to play against, if, uh, if you can still recall? Rocco. I will have to say the defending champions, uh, FAU. They, they're really big and tough, so it was hard for me and, for, hard for me and my teammates because because we were really young, so it, they're a really good team. That's why they won the um, juniors division. 
Um, same with Rocco, uh, the FEU Tamaros. It was a very uh, hard game against them. I, I, had a, I had so much fun, but you know, they're a lot more experienced. How about the player you played in? Who's the toughest sa mga players na hindi yung makakalimutan from the, the last UAP season? I will have to say Reynard Humamoy from NU, the reigning MVP. He's, I learned a lot from him also. He's very matured and such a skilled point guard. So I'm trying to get some stuff from him. And he's a really matured point guard. Po. Just yun po. Also, Reynard Dumamoy, he's like one of my idols as of now in the juniors. Uh, I like how he plays the game. He's like, just, he just stays calm throughout the whole game. Okay. I'm sure that you, you guys are following some, uh, some basketball player, both locally and internationally. I just have to ask, who is this player, both local and international? In international, of course, of course it's LeBron James. In local, it's LA Tenorio. Mm, uh, for, I'll start with local, uh, Scotty Thompson, mm -hmm. and um, international, probably Luka Doncic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that, is that how you, you, you try to play? I mean, talagang ginagaya yun sa kanila? Yes, Pop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand you were, ano, you were invited to the Batangilas uh, tryouts. No? Can you share with us the experience of being invited or how you were invited there? Um, it was really fun and a blessing to be part and chosen to try out for the national team. So I hope I get in and I've learned a lot uh, the high level of basketball in Gilas Talaga. So I hope I really get in. Po. How was you doing? Uh, just very thankful to sa, sa God for that I got invited. And uh, also grateful that I got to play against uh, players who are great at in at my age then if if just in case you would be called up or be selected what would it mean to you okay. um, for me to mean the world because it was one of my dreams when I was younger so um, that achieving my dream it would be the world to me Paul. how would you die? Uh, it would uh, I would cross out my uh, goals I would cross out Gilas, make the Gilas team. It means a lot to me since when I, when I was a kid, I always dreamed of going to play for the national team. All right. Okay. So before we end, guys, I'll give you the floor. You may, maybe you want to greet anybody or, your, or give shout outs. That's your chance. Rock for you. Um, I want to shout out my family, um, Team Limitless, and my friends and teammates from UPIS. Uh, firstly, I want to thank God for this opportunity. I want to shout out my family, my coaches, my friends, and uh, to, to those who support us. <laughs> thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. And please do watch us for the next one. Good night.